Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss 3.16 and 3.17. From motion replay, read each statement below carefully and state with the reasons if it is true or false. In this A, the net acceleration of a particle in circular motion is always along the radius of the circle towards the center. Here it did not specify it is uniform. He mentioned only circular motion. So the answer is false. So what is the reason behind this? The net acceleration of a particle in a circular motion is towards the center only if its speed is constant. That means the particle should be in uniform circular motion. In this case the statement can be true. Otherwise, it will be false. Coming to B. The velocity vector of a particle at a point is always along the tangent to the path of the particle at that point. Here, the answer is true. A particle released at any point of its path will always move along the tangent. To the path. At this point. Suppose if the particle is moving in a circular path. If the particle at this point will be having its velocity tangential to the path like this. Coming to C. The acceleration vector of a particle in a uniform circular motion averaged over one cycle is a null vector. This statement is true. How it is? Suppose the particle is moving in a uniform circular path. Suppose say point A and point B both are opposite side diametrically. Then at point A the acceleration nothing but centripetal acceleration will be towards center. At B also the acceleration will be towards center. So these two accelerations are equal in magnitude opposite in direction. 
so this resultant will gives us zero vector so we can write for any two diametrically opposite points on the circumference the acceleration vectors are equal and opposite hence or uh, the acceleration vector averaged over one complete cycle is a null vector 3.17 the position of a particle is given by r bar is equal to 3.0 t i cap minus 2.0 t square j cap plus 4.0 k cap meter where t is in seconds and the coefficients have the proper units for r bar to be in meters a find the v bar and a bar of the particle b what is the magnitude and direction of velocity of the particle at t is equal to 2.0 seconds coming to the solution the given position vector r bar is equal to 3.0 t i cap Minus two point zero t square j cap plus four point zero k cap meter. We need to find out v bar and a bar. So v bar can be written as dr bar by dt. that is equal to d by dt of 3.0 t i cap minus 2.0 t square j cap plus 4.0 k cap meter that is equal to we can write after simplifying d by dt of 3 t i cap becomes simply 3 3.0 i cap and minus of d by dt of 2.0 t square j cap becomes 4.0 t j cap and the rest of the term is zero here if you observe velocity v bar is also variable we can write it is in terms of meter per second while coming to acceleration a bar is equal to dv bar by dt that is equal to d by dt of 3.0 i cap minus 4.0 t j cap by differentiating this we will get d by dt of 3.0 i cap becomes 0 minus d by dt of 4.0 t j cap it will becomes minus 4.0 j cap so acceleration is constant it is along negative y axis
so this is answers for a while coming to b what is the magnitude and direction of the velocity of the particle at t is equal to 2 seconds so at t is equal to 2 seconds V bar is equal to 3.0 I cap minus 4 into 2. It will become 8.0 J cap. Now in this case, magnitude of V is equal to V x square plus V y square that is equal to 3 square plus minus 8 whole square under root. This value is 73 under root. That is equal to 8.54 meter per second. And while coming to the direction of velocity. The direction of velocity can be written as theta is equal to tan inverse of vy divided by vx at the same time that is equal to tan inverse of minus 8 by 3 that is equal to tan inverse of minus 2.6667 it is nearly minus 70 degrees with x-axis So, these are the solutions for 3.16 and 3.17. Thank you.